All right, today we're gonna fix my jack. It's a Harbor Freight three ton jack, but this pretty much works on almost all floor jacks. This one has uh, pistons and this one gets stuck every now and then. And I've tried to deal with it over and over, but when it gets stuck, then this one still works, but it pumps up really slow. So today I'm gonna remove it Pull it out and figure out why it's doing that. I'm going to put you over here so that you can see. So we got to remove these two big bolts. hell is this a bolt I thought this was a nut all right let me see if the other one comes out all right we're gonna remove these bolts this comes out uh, all right so these are the bolts to go in the side and I guess they have bearings on yeah there's bearings on it on both sides they go in like this and they go in they go into the handle just like that so they're like that when they go in so they ride on these. All right, so let's remove them. We'll move the handle. Oh, and this this little square thing goes right into the handle. A twist. You can see a twist there like that. And this piece right here just rolls in there, and it twists and on, and it uh, releases the valve on the tank so this goes in there like that and the spring then goes like this and then the handle fits in there like that and then that goes in there like that all right let's pull that out I'm just gonna put a towel underneath Okay, so I'm going to pull this out and leave the spring there, leave all this stuff there, and this leave that there, that goes for that one, and then this one, this doesn't come off, I guess it does come off in the grease, so I'm going to check this and see if there's any problems. Doesn't seem like there's a problem. I'm going to put a little bit of... There's oil in it, so... Should be good to go. Just clean it off. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this one out, just in case. These are two different size bolts and two different size things. These are just covers. This is the actual plunger. This is the main plunger that goes in and out. And this is a secondary plunger. So this one going in actually takes the liquid, uh, the fluid from this side and pushes it on this side. And then this is actually pushes it through order to make it go up you usually have to replace these little seals but this one doesn't look bad all right let me wipe this off spring seems to be fine 
those are on good let's put this back on screen back in now you have to wiggle this to get it in there because it has the concave you have to wiggle it just side to side you're releasing the air in it and then it'll go in see how it's going up now it's actually pushing fluid out this side so then I'm gonna wipe this off put this back in there must be something in there that's so now you wiggle it and that one's going down that one's going down and I think we're all right all right I take it this is going to be the hard part is in the middle that goes in there like that all right so on this side you put your your pin goes through you put your spring on this side let me I'll show you hook your spring on the bottom you put your spring up there and then you push this in through the spring all right now this has to go right in here as an assistant but you're going to have to push these down in order to get this in there so You're going to have to hold it up. Push it in like that. You want it to fall in the hole. Now all we do is crank this tight I'm not gonna run this with the hammer stand you back over there check and make sure everything's greased up and oiled up and then we're going to check it out okay I'm done all everything forgot to bring you along but greased up the pin right there you remove this top right here and you can get down you see that little screw right there you put your you unscrew the screw you put hydraulic fluid down in there and then you put the screw back on and then you put these screws on each side back on and there you go and it's now pumping let me lock it up and it's now pumping up like it should be see how they're both going down now they used to only one of them would go down the other one would stay stuck and now they're working all right so that's how you fix the your daytona jack